that range right there also, if you look closely, is a breaker. The lowest down close candle, high, low, high, extended forward. There's your range. These, these two consecutive down close candles make up one order block. The order block here is the breaker. Why am I not using this one? This candle went lower ICT. You're using the candles that have the, the lower body. This is the lower body. Also, this is also occurring right immediately after the high. I would not look at this as a breaker otherwise. For instance, let's just say that this body here didn't go as low as the close it has in this candle. Say it was closing higher than that candle's close and it was up here. I wouldn't even refer to it as a breaker there. Wouldn't even refer to this at all as a breaker if it did that, but because it did this, high, low, higher high. Remember, the wicks do the damage. So I'm going to look at that wick and discard it. It's a one-minute chart. So you can't refine much more beyond that if we're looking for a range for defining a breaker. Okay, so high, low, higher high, two down closed candles, extend that forward. We're seeing it trade up into the breaker there and right there as well. And then we see price reach back one more time below the low prior to New York session lunch, which is noon to one o'clock. You thought it only worked in ES and index features, didn't you? No. <laughs> okay. So it runs in here and then back inside the range.